welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve another interesting uh, infinite sum question okay uh, how to evaluate this infinite series okay first uh, I'm going to uh, write e to the x we know e to the x is equal to uh, n is equal 0 to infinity x to the n over n factorial then uh, I'm going to write this is also we know equal to 1 plus uh, here now n is equal 1 to infinity x to the n over n factorial okay uh, in a previous video uh, we discussed uh, uh, infinite series uh, we saw that uh, infinite series by using differentiation so also in this video I'm going to use derivative so here now we can write e to the x minus 1 is equal to uh, infinite sum 1 to infinity x to the n over n factorial now differentiate with respect to x both side so here we have e to the x is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity uh, n times x to the n minus 1 general power rule here n factorial now I'm going to multiply uh, by x so here we have x times e to the x is equal to infinite sum 1 to infinity now we know here x to the n minus 1 so if we multiply by x this minus 1 get cancelled so we have n times x to the n over n factorial okay then uh, again differentiate with respect to x so here we have product of two function so uh, x times derivative of e to the x e to the x plus e to the x derivative of x we know 1 so this is equal to 1 to infinity uh, here n here n so n square x to the n minus 1 over n factorial okay then uh, again uh, we can multiply by x so here we can take also e to the x as a common factor so e to the x uh, times x plus 1 if we multiply by x we have x square plus x times e to the x is equal to here 1 to infinity now again here x to the n over n factorial okay then um, again we can differentiate so uh, again product of two function so we can write uh, x square plus x times derivative of e to the x e to the x plus e to the x derivative of this function we know 2 times x plus 1 is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity now here we have n cube x to the n minus 1 over n factorial now again we can take e to the x as a common factor so e to the x and now I am going to multiply by x again so here x square uh, x cube now 2 times x uh, plus x we know 3 times x if we multiply by x 3 times x square and here we have 1 so x is equal to infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity now again cube here x to the n over n factorial now uh, again I am going to differentiate with respect to x so here uh, e to the x times derivative of this function 3 times x square plus 6 times x plus 1 uh, plus x cube plus 3 times x square plus x times e to the x is equal to infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity here n raised to the 4 power uh, x to the n minus 1 over n factorial okay then uh, again here we can uh, simplify we can take e to the x as a common factor and now also I am going to multiply by x so here we have x cube so if we multiply by x x to the fourth power and uh, 3 times x square 3 times x square 6 times x square uh, so 6x cube uh, and here 6 times x uh, sorry 
6 times x, yeah, here x, so 7 times x square uh, plus uh, 1, so x is equal to uh, infinite sum, 1 to infinity, n raised to the 4 power, now again here x to the n over n factorial. Okay, then uh, I am going to substitute 1 half uh, for x, so here uh, e to the 1 half here uh, 1 over 16 plus 6 over 8 plus 7 over 4 plus 1 over 2 is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity here uh, n raised to the 4 power x we know 1 half so 1 half raised to the n power over n factorial now uh, we can simplify here we know square root of e times uh, if we simplify uh, we know here uh, 16 here uh, 1 uh, 12 uh, so 13 uh, 28 so here we know 49 uh, is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity n raised to the 4 power over here 1 over 2 raised to the n we can write 2 raised to the n n factorial and uh, this is the uh, required answer okay if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching